Come here, little bee, and let me tell you a story. Yes, I can see you're hard at work, but how about I tell you a tale about those lights you see overhead when the sky turns dark and you aren't working? It'll only be a moment, and I promise it'll be worth it. It's a very interesting tale. Something eternal. That's our story. Something so intangibly beautiful and mysterious. Something that's light is unique, eventually dimming and vanishing, only to be replaced by another light. A light that's similar, but not the same. Wouldn't it be amazing to just have one star in the night sky? One light on which you could fixate all of your thoughts and intentions. But unfortunately, there are a great many lights. Too many to concentrate on at once. A thick velvet carpeting of light to block our eyes from the dirty wood floor of space. But in its very existence, this lush jungle of light becomes a wall, and itself becomes mundane. We become jaded and accustom ourselves to the wall's existence, and we start to pay less attention to its particles. Its own saturation of the sky causes a separation in our minds between the beauty of its particles and the wall's own sheer banality. As stars individually, however, they're constantly moving separating and uniting with others in the orbit of planets. They move away from one star and towards another, never stopping. The movement may relax or quicken due to celestial events outside its control, but movement remains along with change. A star is always changing, from birth to death and beyond, it's constantly moving through one stage of existence to the next, a constant cosmic metamorphosis. The changes are gargantuan, they affect not only how the star itself appears, but how other stars appear by comparison. The sun appears much bigger next to a similar star than next to a red giant. But there exist many paths of evolution for these brilliant lanterns of space, bigger or smaller, hotter or cooler, a longer or shorter lifespan in its current form, and through all of these changes, who knows how much of the original remains. Is a star new once it's changed enough? And if so, in what capacity must it change in order to become something new? Or is a constant state of change part of a star's being? After all, all of this movement and change are facts of life for a celestial ball of fire. It transcends even death. Death is just another stage of life when it loses most of its size and turns to dust, then feels the pressure of the universe and becomes a star again. One could say its metamorphosis has both never started and thus will never end. And during a star's infinite lifetime, you can imagine that at some point it would come together with another star and form one being, a brilliant light among lesser singular stars. But this can never happen. When two stars combine, massive destruction almost always occurs, either for just one star or for both. And even in those few cases where stars combine safely, eventually they separate, for all stars are singular by nature, and travel their paths alone. They might stop in a solar system for a while in passing, sometimes just to say hi and other times to live there for a while, but ultimately they move away, or change so much that they can't exist in that system anymore. Solar systems, nebulae, galaxies, and even universes are just pit stops on a star's journey. It will travel far, changing its location, appearance, and even purpose many times along the way, but it will never find a home, at least not for very long. A star is a picture of impermanence, uh, but the star has no choice in the matter. However, it isn't an intergalactic hitchhiker as much as an interstellar bus passenger on a ride that never ends. The star chooses neither the destination nor the path it takes to get there.